NBA fans, Bleacher Report listed its top 10 best young cores. Did they get it right? We don't think they did. At least I don't. Y'all already know we're going to get into it, but we're going to play this intro first. Welcome to the number one place for your daily basketball news and analysis, NBA Central. All right, so welcome back to another episode of NBA Central. I'm Bobby. We got the man that speaks, Steve O. And we got Big Bro, aka Big Kev. How y'all feeling? What's the word? It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. This man. <laughs> man, if y'all like what y'all listening to today, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell. So every time we drop, you'll be one of the first <clears> ones to know. Now, Bleacher Report went ahead and listed their top 10 best young course. And we're going to go ahead and read them off for you. We got the San Antonio Spurs coming in at one, then OKC, then the New Orleans Pelicans at three, Orlando Magic, the Houston Rockets at five, the Detroit Pistons at six, T-Wolves at seven, Indiana Pacers at eight, Charlotte Hornets at nine, and then to round it off at the top ten, we got the Portland Trail Blazers. Big Kev coming to you first, big dog. How you feeling about this list, my guy? I feel like... When they came up with this list, they looked at Victor Wimbignana and then everybody else. So they that. they felt like he's a generational talent. So that means that the Spurs have to have at least the best young core if you're building around Victor Wimbignana. Now, in my opinion, Oklahoma City should be the number one young core um, on this list. They have young Chet Holmgren. They just drafted some more young players. They got all young players on their squad, actually. Uh, right. uh, SGA is still young. He's not even 25 yet. So, And he's played at MVP caliber. So if I'm feeling, if I'm going to say the best young core, I'm looking at the team that already have players on the team that's been putting up numbers that also still young, whereas Victor right. ain't played an NBA game yet. So right. I, can't, I can't agree with that being number one. But we can talk about the whole list, Steve-O. Yeah, mean? um, they was definitely on their WWE shit with the storylines for real because uh, that that's the first thing I said. I'm like, all right, there's gonna be a little storyline because I'm sitting here trying to figure out who the core is. Um, Victor, Keldon, and dude that look like Ray Dennis Thomas? Rodman. <laughs> Are you talking about <laughs> Sohan? <laughs> yeah, Sohan. I ain't know. I ain't know the nigga. I ain't know the motherfucking name. So, yeah, uh, I, I I just like like Kev said. OKC is first. Me personally, put it back up. I'm putting. Orlando. I'm probably gonna put Orlando second. And, um, what y'all think about three? I think three could be okay. Okay, cause I, I'm the same way. Like you can move it a couple spots. You could keep yeah. it right there. Yeah, I ain't tripping. You probably could here. move it down though. To be honest, with the yeah, one like five. Stuff. Yeah, right. I wouldn't be mad at that because I believe the Houston Rockets they got a young well. I don't know now with the with the additions of Fred Van Vliet and Dylan Brooks. I mean, those well, Fred he kind of older, but Dylan Brooks still a relatively young guy. But then they still got some young players on there. But the better the better other young core that will have to at least go at three or number two for me will be the Indiana Pacers, simply because Tyrese yeah. Halliburton, Benedict Mathurin. You still got Miles Turner with some, you know, game up in there. And then they still got a couple young players, too. If they not, you know, in that top three, they definitely should be ahead of uh, the Pelicans for me. And they they picked up Obadiah Topping. No. Oh, my boy <laughs> just said it all right, but he'd have yeah. uh, and, uh, like I know we, we talked about it, and I'm, I don't know about seven because, you know, Minnesota still is a young team. You got um, Ant. You got um, – He only 21. Yeah, you got um Cat who I think is about to turn twenty six, and you got one of the McDaniel's brothers there still there. Yeah. So that's still a young core. But to me, I'm I'm still switching them out for um <laughs> the Grizzlies because that's still a young core. So I, I agree right. with you. Like the fact that the Grizzlies didn't make this list, the fact that the Sacramento Kings didn't make Sacramento this list. Kings, yep. Um, you know, I feel like <sighs> Portland Trail Blazers making the list just on the strength of Scoot Henderson, maybe, and and I, I guess. I guess Anthony Simons. Yeah, they still. Yeah. I think that yeah, I think that young core could be solid though with Scoop, Anthony Simons, and Shaden Sharp. That's mm -hmm. a nice little core. And Grant's still young. 
Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? I think that's that's a nice little core to be around. But how y'all feeling about uh the Charlotte Hornets? You know what I'm saying? LaMelo, Bridges coming back. Brandon Miller added over there. They got Mark Williams over there. That's a big guy. They got some game. And they uh, definitely about that? they definitely went crazy in this draft. I tell you that picking up um Amari Bailey too, along yeah. with Brandon Williams, and they got I oh, feel they, like a, they got Amari Bailey. Oh, it's yeah. gonna go down. And then I, this the steal that people not talking about is Nick. I think Nick Smith Jr. Buddy a bucket. Okay. He might be more of a bucket than Amari. He got picked. I think I yeah, he, he was like the first. He was last one of the last picks in the first round. Nick, and, and because of an injury, Nick would have been a lottery. He was he's yeah. that good. So he's definitely sure. a steal. So um I feel like um you could argue that they're better. Um they're you could argue the spots between him, them and the Pacers. I feel like they probably neck and neck. I put them above Minnesota. Detroit could mm-hmm. be top five. Yeah, you can't put them above. Question. You can't put them above Minnesota. Minnesota been in play in situations, <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah, like, you can't do that. Like, but, but but my bad. Potential. Oh, I get. Oh. I get what you're saying. If you saying potential wise mm-hmm. and projection, you yeah. moving up. I, I I agree with you there. There. Okay. And so the, are we kind of overlooking a young core of uh, Detroit? The Pistons, no. Oh, no. Yeah. They, they they can't can't Cunningham, they Ivy, one of the it. Thompson brothers. Yeah. They got Isaiah Stewart over there. I mm-hmm. think they got some nice young players, too. And I think I think the way that they're making up the team is pretty good, too. I think they're yeah. more top five than uh, San Antonio right now. To be uh, front, Tana, San Antonio is 10. If they not, they probably outside <laughs> the 10, to be honest with you. Oh, <laughs> I'm just being real. Like there is, We just named three, three teams that's not on this list. Right. So we can easily put them outside the top ten. That's fair. Yeah, because then you got San Antonio; they can get the hell out of here. The T Wolves can get up out of there. I'm with mm-hmm. you on that. You could definitely make the case for those teams for sure. Yeah, but I think it, I think they was looking at because it's like I, it's like three ways you can look at this um, list right here. It's like you can look at it pro- for projection. You can look at the current talent, and you can look at the youngest. To me, this looked like they picked the youngest teams because I think the Spurs is probably the youngest team in the NBA, if I'm not mistaken. Probably, so, like, Detroit yeah. Up, Detroit up there, though. They got a mm-hmm. lot of 21, 22, 23-year-olds on Detroit. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, currently, I think the Magic might be the youngest team. The Magic, too. The Magic, they got some nice young players over there, too. Yeah. Yeah, lie. that's why they, 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 they easily in my top two. Mm-hmm. Top two, yeah. top three, for sure. Because they, they got a lot of young players, and I think that – you know, you got Wagner, Paolo, uh, Suggs, Cole Anthony. They still trying to figure out what the hell to do with him. They yeah. had to get rid of Bo Bo because they had like 50 centers or something like that. It was so, just- yeah, <laughs> I'm looking at something right here. And this, I think this list was definitely picked because of the, how young they was. Because, like I said, the Spurs is the youngest. The average is 23.8 years old. The Magic is 23.5 years old. The Rockets is 23.9 years old. Grizzlies are 24.3 uh, Blazers are 24.5, Hornets is 24.6, and um, e- ooh, they didn't even pick the Knicks up here. The, the uh, Timberwolves and Knicks is, is tied with uh, 24.9. See, but that's see that those numbers are skewed though, like they're a little skewed because if if they're talking about the average of the entire team's age. Then, like Portland, for example, you got an older Dang. Damian Lillard, thirty-two. <laughs> you know but Dame is probably the only oldest dude on there. I'm just saying that, like, some of these teams got players that are thir- in their middle to upper thirties as well. I mean, as yeah, but age. when you do that type of math, if you round the twentieth mark, that means there's a lot of twenty-year-olds on your team. Yeah, that's because if you got like a good five that's thirty-something, it's gonna round out to like thirty. Yeah, but so my thing is this: like, if we're talking about the best young cores, I, I would just look at the actual everybody under the age of thirty, in my opinion. Um, okay, and and that's under thirty though. I mean, that's okay, young. That, that, I, what, what about no, before they because hit their prime? Because you know, that's prime, what I'm saying. What, you hit your prime, twenty-seven. Yeah, what? your prime mm-hmm. starts around twenty-seven. So it we'll say thirty-two. So we'll say twenty-seven then. Okay. Right. Okay. So then you you got Detroit, Indiana. They got a bunch of people under twenty seven. Of yeah. course, OKC. Oh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? They definitely got a bunch of people under twenty seven. Shit, um, that's the case. A lot of these teams. Everybody, really- I, everybody I just named is under twenty seven. Mm, that's why yeah. I feel like they ranked it that way instead of picking like either projection or current talent. 
because this is clearly off of they're the youngest, so I'm gonna put them up there. How old is Brunson? Yeah. If 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 the Knicks are one of the younger teams, how did they skip out on the I think team? Brunson might be turning thirty now, maybe. He was Brunson on that same is listed as twenty six years old. I'm about to say he was still he was on that Villanova team. Like he can't be thirty. Yeah, yet. yeah, he twenty six. Yeah, years but old, he did man. what four years. That's why I said thirty. That's why yeah, he, <laughs> all of them, all of them. <laughs> uh, real, Josh, he aged like a mug. <laughs> Josh Hart, Don, uh, Demetrio, or however you say his yeah. name. And Brunson, they all got to be in that around that prime age. Mm-hmm. Um, they the Knicks could yeah. have been the team that made this list in terms of having that young core of all those Villanova right. players. Because if you, I think that's also the change, not to change the conversation a little bit, but it also just shows you like how these dudes begin in the league so young. Because even like Julius, not even for close to thirty yet. Mm-hmm. He still got a couple more years. He got a thirty. And he been in the league almost ten years. Mm-hmm. So like they, your vets, like I believe Miles Turner said in a in an interview recently, he ain't going into his ninth year and he's twenty six. Yep, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's because Miles... these guys be coming into the league so young. It's ridiculous. Now Miles Turner definitely look old. He definitely got an old face, an older face, <laughs> an old he, face. He was looking like an auntie the other day too. He bogus. boy. That boy had on a picnic. That boy had the pure picnic auntie suit on I've ever seen in my life. The perfect yeah, blouse. He, he the perfect like, blouse. He looked like he audition. He was auditioning for like a new role in like a remake of The Color Purple. He bogus. <laughs> that man <laughs> folded his legs too perfect for my liking. I'm just saying. <laughs> God bless. When you get that type of money, it changes. I ain't gonna lie to you. All right, so I got a good question for y'all. Of these top ten, of this top ten right here, can't dive outside of it. the top ten right here within the next five years. Who who's your top three teams that we'll be talking most about? Ooh, in the next a, five years. That's out of this top 10 right here. All right, so hopefully for me, hopefully we're talking about the Oklahoma City Thunder. We're talking about the Pelicans, and we're talking about the Hornets. That's what I want to see. And it's it's a toss-up between the Hornets, Pistons, and Pacers. But I'm putting the Hornets up there because I like LaMelo Ball, and I want to so see him succeed. Again. Oklahoma, the Pelicans, if, if, if we can get a good two, three-year stretch of Zion actually being healthy. <laughs> And then we got um the, uh, the the Hornets now the Magic obviously I know y'all gonna probably one of y'all gonna pick the Magic I'm going I'm going with the Hornets <laughs> Pelicans and OKC yeah I, I'm probably going OKC um, Magic in Houston I'm gonna Houston go gonna good too. Good one. I'm definitely going OKC is my number one then I'm gonna go I'm gonna go out of limb and go with one of my rivals the Detroit Pistons and then for that third one. I hate to say it, but I'm gonna go Orlando. Uh, with your with your boy, <laughs> Jalen Suggs, I always come to come and play them, and he be Mister Magic City. He be making me look like a goofy. <laughs> I can't even lie to you. I used to mess with dude. Now I mean, like him. No, the real. It is what it is. He coming I'm at both. the squad. So. I'm both. I ain't you talking crazy. You see your hell I ever seen. God don't like ugly. You better be quiet. You end up like dude on Boston. I ain't got nothing to say about no receding hairline. <laughs> <laughs> Man, look, hey, they got Bosley for a reason. I'm gonna have to hit him up if I get there. No, it's called <laughs> called Jamie Foxx and LeBron Surgeon. That's what it's called. Bro, Listen, bro, I, for real. I thought about it until wifey was like, I like you bald. I'm like, hey, it is what it is. Hey, if your wife loves it, <laughs> then you gotta go ahead and uh make a conscious decision. He just told on herself, she be stroking this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, oh, the real. But y'all got anything left before we get up out of here? I can't wait. I can't wait until the Bulls on this list until they get a catch up to the <laughs> league and start drafting young players that actually matter. Uh, we didn't have the Denzel Valentines and the and the Marquise Teagues and the Chandler Hutchinsons and so on and so forth. So there's been a lot of swings and misses from this Chicago Bulls organization. So my final thoughts is catch up with the times, my guy. We get a- AK got to come through and do his thing like they did over there in Denver. I'm hey, let's get it, man. See, man, I you be doing this on purpose, Kev, because you be doing. I had a good. I didn't raise my boys not one time in this video, <laughs> and you gonna sit here and go down the historic bullshit of this goddamn bullshit ass team. We ain't getting it right. We still think we ain't far away with a 34 year old number one option. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> but you said that's it, Steve. That's it for Steve. Oh, y'all heard him. I My final thoughts that. is, man, hey, it's good to see these young teams come out and play. Me, I'm really, really high on OKC. And then we'll see what happened with Wimby. But, hey, that's it from us today. Y'all can follow everybody here collectively at NBA Central Pod on all social media platforms. If you want to call in and leave a voicemail so we can react to your voicemail, call in 773 773- 270-2799. And of course, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. And we're gonna catch y'all on the next one for sure. This has been a presentation of the Breaks, Breaks Media. 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 Media.